I'd like to say, Mr. President, that we do not forget that we're here because of the people. And we're elected by the people to serve the people. And we're here at their mercy. So the right people or the right person that will have judged our performance should have been the people. I say so because political power, whether legislature or executive, is but a trust. A trust that can only be justified when used for the benefit of the common man. The question before us this afternoon is that the people who have made this loss for, how happy are they? What are their emotions? I think, Mr. President, that a day like this should have been set aside in addition to discussing the state of the nation, but to assuage and give confidence to the people that have elected us. That though we are passing through this difficult moment of our nation, there is still hope for the light at the dark end of the tunnel. That we are sure that, that Nigeria must be better despite all the challenges we have. This is because today, if you ask a common man, how do you feel about our Senate? He will ask us, what do you think that is happening with my stomach? And what do you think that is happening with my happiness and sense of justice? I've rep repeatedly said that this Senate must rise and support the executive to address the issue of poverty and injustice in this nation. In Imo, there's a cry for injustice. In Bruno, there's a cry for injustice. In Sokoto, there's a cry for injustice. And we must also, as a Senate, after two years, to do all we can to stop this ethnic profiling of our people, where we believe, where we are not able to separate criminals from where they come from. Today, in the recent killings in Imo State and in the Southeast, Nigerians will be quick to profile Igbos as killers. Just like Fulanis are profiled as herdsmen and killers. We must do everything we can do as a Senate for the unity of this country to stop ethnic profiling so we can separate criminals from where they come from. With this, Mr. President, I want to say that we assuage the people of Nigeria and give them hope and to thank all of us here that we are still united as a people despite our feelings and we still may believe in the unity of this country. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much.